Welcome to the Page Turner, where we preview upcoming Great Road comics you'll find here at Trickster. We begin with the nibbles, tasty snack-sized portions to whet your appetite for a new release. We continue with the meat, where we chew over a comic and delve a little deeper into why we're recommending it to you. We finish with the Trading Post, where we highlight a trade paperback or graphic novel you won't want to miss. Let's begin, shall we? <laughs> Greetings and salutations. I am Phineas J. Hornswoggle, the trickster mascot, here with you for your June previews. These are the nibbles for June the 14th. Briggsland, number one of six. A new story arc! Isaac Briggs, fresh off a tour of Afghanistan, finds two backpackers on Briggs land. An innocent mistake or the beginning of something serious? I liked the first arc very much and find this story of a secessionist family in control of a huge tract of land and businesses oddly timely. I almost cannot look away. Mm-hmm. Bitch Planet, triple feature issue number one. A sort of Bitch Planet spin-off, if you will, and I am here for it. Set in the world of Bitch Planet, this issue gets to showcase three stories, plus essays, and a bitchin' letter column. Yes, you did, though? Yes, I know. <laughs> Stay frosty. Stay non-compliant. <laughs> Black Cloud, issue number three. Look, if you are not already reading this book, frankly, I don't know what more I can say to you. Hmm. Oh, oh, I know, I know. <clears throat> Issue 3 gives you some flashback Zelda. Oh. And you get to learn a bit more about her world. So, this issue could, perhaps, answer some questions you may have about what the hell is happening while getting a whole new set of questions about what the hell is happening. From I mean... Ivan Brandon? Yes, I know. Enigmatic storytelling from Ivan Brandon? Oh, someone get my smelling salts. Don't miss my chat with Jason Latour for all conversations with creators on YouTube. Also, if you happen to be in Charlotte... That's in North Carolina, my dears. In the next few days, you could have your very own conversation with him in person. The line may be long, so bring a biscuit. I mean, for him, because eating one in front of him would be frankly quite rude. Hey, guess what? What? Ivan and Greg will be there too. Oh, Ivan and Greg will be there as well. Fantastic. There's three, count them, three conversations with the creators. Oh, oh, oh. Winnebago Graveyard, issue number one. OG trickster Steve Niles is about to serve us some serious delights in this new title. An American family on vacation finds themselves stranded in a small town with a very sinister secret, which I think I know, and I think you will want to know. Stunning art, stunning colors, fantastic storytelling. I have been eagerly anticipating this comic since it was announced, and here it is, at last. On to the meat, as they say of our show. Harrow County, issue number 24. Things are heating up between Bernice and Emmy. Emmy has been so busy with her haints, she missed Bernice being taught hedge magic by Lady Lovey. You know, you'd think these two ladies would team up to protect Harrow County and its environs, but no. Sadly, no. Like most stories featuring two ladies, it looks like these powerful women are going to be pitted against one another. Why? I just want to see these two high-five each other after they smite their shared enemies and work together to enrich their world. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> you know what? Maybe... Maybe this incredible team is going to yoink the rug out from under me and do that very thing. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Mm. Truly, I'm not really complaining. No, no, no. Haddock County is a delight. 
creepy and thinky, with a sense of place and very real stakes. I am adoring the story of Bernice finding and claiming her own power. I think it wonderful to see someone meeting the needs of the townspeople, many of them terrified of Emmy and her haints. You know, that seems so likely to me. Any town would feel such fear. After all, we live in a time when people do feel fear of the world around them. Hmm, perhaps I'm just projecting my wish for people to work toward a better, kinder, more understanding world onto a horror comic. Yeah, yeah, that one's on me. Mm Mm-hmm. Now it's time for the Trading Post! Motor Crush Volume 1 Motor Crush revved up very nicely in its debut arc. There is mystery, action, and a bit of romance. Losses, both on the course and at home, and a joyous sense of discovery, all crammed into this delightful title. If you are waiting for the trade, wait no longer. Head to the nearest shop and pick up two, one to keep and one to loan out. Otherwise, you will be constantly buying replacements. (laughs) Don't let the confectionery sugar colour fool you. This book has serious chops. Mm. Well, and there you have it. Oh my god, this is such a good week in comics, you guys. Black Cloud Issue 3 comes out. Don't forget to go bring Jason a biscuit at Heroes Con. Wave to other tricksters for me there. Yes, we, we will probably put a list of tricksters at Heroes Con on our website if uh, we get our craft together. Better good. And we know Trickster will be a trek for many of you. Happily, our online store is open and ready to take your order. Still not finding what you're looking for? These titles and many more are available at the local purveyor of illuminated text near you. After all, if you can't purchase it from us, purchase it from somewhere. Do any of the titles here intrigue you? Feel free to leave a comment below. Did you like this video? Of course you did! Feel free to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a new one. Also, share it with a friend. Or, you know, just repost it on your social media. Papa needs likes! Oh, PBS.